Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing uh, Star Wars Republic at War, um, which is a great mod for um, Star Wars uh, Empire at War Forces of Corruption. Um, first we're going to do a little save because uh, uh, we are going to <laughs> uh, possibly crash at some point if I know my computer. So we're going to save, save, save. Um, I kind of forgot to do that between episodes, so just gotta wait for that. Um, but yeah, so we're playing a great mod for Empire Forces of Corruption. It's um, one of the best um, uh, Empire at Work corrupt, uh, mods <coughs> because you get to play in the Clone Wars, which who, uh, is amazing, especially with it, with it being back on TV. It's such a great series, and I'm very happy to be able to play it here. Um, in my own time. So, last time we uh, took out, took on the uh, Galactic, Conf the Confederacy of Independent Systems, and took out uh, Forost and Majido. Uh, we have the uh, the space of that, and now we're just waiting for our uh, walkers to come up so we can take out the rest of the um, Majido. And we're currently invading Molinist as of right now, and it is taking forever for the save to go through. Um, I'll be back after it saves. All right, and we're back. So currently we are invading Molinist, uh, at least in space. Um, they have a Providence class, so we gotta be super careful, because uh, last time we almost did lose one of our uh, Venators, and our, these Venators we cannot make right now. So we have to make sure that we keep them alive so that way we can, um, Make sure that we have the good, the overwhelming firepower that is a Benedict class Star Destroyer. <laughs> um, currently, I want you guys to kind of be our fighter screen with uh, Mace and the two Jedi Starfighters, which are right there. Get all those and make you group one so that way I have you guys. Okay. Plus these two. Uh, is that everyone? But I want for group one. Yes. Okay. And I'll actually get some. Uh, I'll get the support craft as well. Um, well, actually, no. I don't want them to go as deep. Um, okay, group one. Once you're all grouped together, and actually, I'm gonna get my uh, bombers as group two and kind of have them go over here. I just want to scout out with group one to see what's going on. And they're a lot more likely to live if they're all together. Okay, there's the Providence class. We're gonna move back. They are heading towards us, it looks like. So we can kind of just bait, if we can, try to bait them towards us. Because if we don't have to fight in the, uh, the Providence class in the... Uh, shadow of their space station that will save us a lot of troops. It doesn't look like they're gonna take the bait so we're just gonna bring our star destroyers up and they're not really there there's better class uh, star destroyers okay we're gonna bring forward our anti-fighter in our Pelta classes. And acclimators come on up. Then bombers. Um, currently, you cannot help me. What that guy said. They have almost taken out that entire freighter. <laughs> um, I want you in the front lines, please. Okay, we are losing this fighter fight. Oh no, we lost Windu. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, Yoda, do not go forward anymore. Jeez.
Yoda, stop moving. Okay. Once we get in position, we will, um, once we hold this position, I will feel more comfortable moving everybody up as a group. Um, okay, Acclimator, stop. Gonna get that up. Okay, now I feel comfortable bringing my Y-Wings in to possibly destroy this space station before we even have to do worry about it. Um, you're good where you are. You're not. Okay, Anti-Fighter, come on up. Bring those frigates up. Bring these guys up a little bit. Okay, get those fighters, boys. Okay, there's the Providence class that I'm afraid of. <laughs> so those things can destroy an entire fleet. Yoda, bring your Star Destroyer up. Come this way if you can, other Venator. We're going to lose this other Acclimator, but I'd rather lose the Acclimator than a Venator. Okay, Y-Wings are doing some work over here. Now we're going to get them to destroy the shields of this, uh, Provident, this, uh, what is this thing called? And hopefully this is in range. Oh, we're going to lose another <laughs> Acclimator. That's fine. Acclimators we can make again. Uh, the, uh, the Venators we can't. Okay. I feel much better now. Going all sorts of ham on this guy. Um... Where are my Jedi Starfighters? You're going to take out that guy. Um, you guys just get in there as fast as possible and destroy those hangar bays. Because once those hangar bays are gone, then we don't have to worry about the fighters and their support craft anymore. Got that one. Now let's get that other hangar bay. Come on, Y Wings, get in there. Okay, destroy that. Um, you take out that ship pretty easily, and then everyone just kind of. Go ham. And we win. Yeah, that was pretty costly, um, especially losing Mace. Luckily, he does come back. But uh, maybe not do that again. Okay, uh, bring Yoda back. And now we're just waiting on those walkers to get there. And then we can hopefully uh, lock down this uh, this area. Um, bring all these troops over because we don't need them now to defend. Are the walkers there? They are. Now we can uh, begin the ground invasions of Majito and uh, Molinist. And then once we get that underway, um, then I'll feel a lot more comfortable. Um, Taking out, taking our forces out of this sector, and then we're gonna have a clone trooper be the lead, and let's begin.
I feel really dumb that I let Mace Windu die already. But such is life. We just gotta continue on. We're gonna bring in Yoda because his sight beyond sight is so useful. Okay, we're gonna get our troops out and uh, get some of these points. Uh, okay, you guys are gonna go forward. Some more troops out. All right, and these troops are gonna pretty much lock down this area for us, so that we don't have to worry about uh, the enemy at all. Um, I will get that type because I don't think they really leave their nest too much. Alright, and then you guys just kind of sit here and take cover. Oh, we already have some enemies. They should be relatively easy for us to take out. We'll bring this other Jedi in. Just just because we can. And then we just kind of gotta wait for a little bit while we get our troops unloaded. That's the longest part of this entire thing is waiting for those. Ooh, Force Crush is such a good ability. Especially on this planet because I believe there are crab droids here. Jeez, it takes forever for clone, clones to get uh, out of the... out of their troop transports. Alright, getting some more clones in there. Our medic can just come with us, I guess. Alright, and then now we can kind of push forward. And we'll take this position up here. We'll take this uh, reinforcement point. Oh, we gotta take out their troops. Okay, this Jedi needs to get out of there. Bro. Should be good. I'm going to build a back to tank because that was a little bit hairier than I anticipated. <laughs> uh, but we will send a couple clones to take out that point. Move that, uh, move that Jedi in there. Um, anyone that's hurt, just get close to there. Just make sure everyone's a little bit healed. Okay, we should be good on health. Okay, going north. Alright, and go forward. It's 
so hard to see on this planet. You have to, like, they literally have to be on top of you for you to see them <laughs> at all. Okay, we'll get a... Now that we have a bombing run in place, now we're gonna see what we can. Is that all they have? Huh, must have been mistaken. All right, let's take that and then let's go south with the the walkers can actually go yeah they can go quickly down and then all the rest of the troops can just kind of take their time Yoda, I feel comfortable with you going forward. Huh. Then probably these bunkers are what's next and left. We'll take these guys and go north. Go up there. Um, Jedi, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't run ahead. <laughs> Jeez. If I lose Yoda and uh, Mace in the first se in the second episode, I don't deserve to be <laughs> a commander. Take that over. Alright. And then we'll take these guys and go north. Okay, there is a anti-something turret up there. Uh, we'll take Yoda. Anti-aircraft, okay. And then we win. A lot easier than I was expecting, to be honest. Okay, get you guys. Okay, we're gonna bring fleet forward. All right. And then let's take over Molnist. And then just like that, we will have the entire uh, northern ha sector under our control. Uh, come on. Takes forever for it to load sometimes. Okay, initially we're gonna get Yoda, uh, Ma uh, Mace Wannabe, and then some walkers be observant you're in enemy territory right away general right away general maximum unit capacity all right and then what help can i be now suggest that please one shot one kill ready am i nothing deadlier than a clone behind the tree. i believe there is a uh satellite tower over here so we're going to go and get that real quick. Right, get 
that. Okay, we're going to move up here. And it takes forever for the clones to get out of their transport, so we just got to kind of have to wait. Come on, clone boys. No, it's somewhere over here. There we go. Alright, so we'll take that over and then we'll be able to see the entire battlefield, which will be very useful for my strategy. My strategy is to just go ham. Alright, so now that we've got it, we don't have to worry about losing it. And we're going to get our troops stationed right here to probably take out some of their initial troops. Take out those immunes. Alright, and then we don't really care about the, uh, the rest of this map, because all we care about is taking care of their stuff. So, once we destroy it, it's pretty much uh, pretty much done at that point. Right, and they could try to take us out, but they won't get far enough to do any real damage to us. For some reason, the clone troopers don't attack the troops unless you tell them to. Which is a little weird, because they are, you know, military members of the military. Alright, and then we just gotta clear out as much of their troops as possible. This will be a pretty easy battle, so um, we're going to kind of move time along as as much as possible. I don't know why I paused it. Alright, and then take out this building. Alright. Basically, we just need to take out their droid works, um, and then we just we can destroy their individual troops as they come to us. And then these guys can just hold, because I can't uh, select any more of that unit. So these guys will just kind of hold here with uh, a couple turrets as their backup. Everybody else move out. Basically why I'm destroying these Mune buildings is it decreases the amount of troops that they get uh, because while they're not intimidating as a single unit, they are more intimidating as a conglomerate. But they're pretty easy, so I'm not worried. Alright, bombing run. Destroy those. Once we stop their production of troops, we can just kind of 
focus on their individual uh, battle droid units. This position up there. All right. It doesn't matter that our fighters got destroyed because we took out their droid works, which is really good for us. Um, all right, let's destroy these uh, B2 battle droids right there. Droids are coming in. For some reason the uh, attack controls are a little wonky, but um, you know, it is what it is. They like kind of walk past them to attack them. Okay, if they're gonna come to us, we'll just kind of sit here and let them attack. see any battle droids in the makeup of any of these armies. There is a couple here. Imminently beatable though. Um, Alright, we're gonna... I guess we kind of just have to wait. can move forward. Alright, where are those battle droids? B1s, B2s. Okay, so we're gonna have to go this way if we're gonna attack them. There's some battle droids coming in from behind us. I'm gonna bring our. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have asthma. I can't breathe sometimes. Um, we're gonna bring these to defend our rear while our main attack force keeps on walking forward, dealing with the munes. Those are good. 
Now we can kind of move forward here. Oh, we lost the abandoned sensor array? Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're going to bring these guys up here to see what we can see. And then these guys are going to move forward and take out the abandoned sensor array up here for us. In fact... All right, moving forward. These guys are so much quicker. No battle droids in this group up here, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was, so. out those battle droids and then move forward and take out that okay oh, there's some b2 battle droids coming up right now we can destroy those with It's pretty much slow going, basically. Just have to take out the Munes as they come, basically. I thought the Jedi would be a little bit quicker than the clones, but apparently not. Take out this immune dwelling. Can do. General. Okay, here we go. We're doing it without Walker backup. That's how um, skilled we are. Right away, General. Yes, General. The Sepies better make some Look, I saw all the red eyes. Do I? Right. Alright, taking over that so we can kind of see the entire battlefield a little bit easier. And we'll leave a small squad to uh, defend it. Because we just need to find a, couple, a group of B1s, I'm pretty sure. Yep, those guys right there. Um, we're going to move our walkers that way. And then you guys sit there and defend this. Everybody else is going to move forward. Gotta move forward and slowly take these munes out. Munalist is always a slog. Alright, we'll take out those troops. 
that trooper and then it should be okay I think we yep perfect All right. System control achieved. And that will actually have. Oh uh, wait, wait. All right. That will have to do it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, next episode, we're gonna focus on this little cluster down here, and hopefully free up this area of space. Once we get that, then we can focus on the eastern half. Uh, but really, we need to make sure that we get this western half. Um, before I go, though, I do want to um, make sure that we get our... Um, well, what's that thing called? Our uh, research facility up, so that way we can uh, get f uh, further tech levels. Um, but yeah, so that will do it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe this video. Everything that you do will help with that. Um, so yeah. Have a great day. Bye.